Hey there, I'm Stacey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a while guys, it's been a while, for real, I have really missed you. Thank you for the 33 subscribers that I now have, I really do appreciate you guys. I've got to apologise for a couple of things first. Before I do start with the video, the first thing is the lighting. It is absolutely miserable and horrible outside and I have been trying the best I can with the lights I've got, but um, I don't think they can fix that much. The second thing I want to apologise for is the fish tank, you can hear that it's whirring right there. And the third thing I want to apologise for is not the most best setup. I am in the process of moving, um, so that is probably why you are seeing me on the floor and I've got a bunch of boxes and things around me, which doesn't look great, but I will. So today I thought we could do like a little chit chat, very sort of casual video, hence why I'm in my onesie. I do have no makeup on, which is probably why you're terrified right now that I'm not wearing any eyebrows. Sorry about that, I don't have eyebrows, I hate them. I like to draw them on when I feel like it, I don't wanna have them on my face all the time. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a chit chat, I'm gonna do my makeup in the meantime, and then it's just gonna be a bit of a get ready with me kind of thing, although there isn't really anywhere to go at the moment, but yeah. If you like these kind of videos, please do give it a little thumbs up, and you can subscribe to my channel, that will really help. With that being said, let's get into the video. So for starters, I like to use the e.l.f. Paula's Putty Primer. <laughs> I do apologise for the fact that it is so dirty. When I put makeup on, I like to do it with my fingers quite a bit, and um, so that is why this is so dirty. On the outside, on the inside it's perfectly fine. Oh, if I'm looking down here, it's because the mirror's here and I like to see what I'm doing. So, um, you're probably wondering where I've been. And the truth is, I haven't been great. I've been kind of sick, and I've been to hospital, and yeah, I just haven't been great health-wise. Do not worry, it is not the C word virus. Um, I had that test at the hospital and I am negative, which is very, very good. Um, but yeah, I've mainly just been recovering. So that's one of the main reasons why I've been off the internet at the moment. Um, you know, just because I'm thinking, well, if I need to recover and look after myself, maybe I just sort of switch off from anything. And, um, I'm perfectly fine now, I'm, I'm healed and I'm healthy. Um, when I hydrate my lips, I like to use this Body Shop Lip Juicer. I think it's the kiwi flavour, I don't actually know, but it smells really good. So I just hydrate my lips like that. And then once I've set my primer, I then like to put some foundation on. The foundation I like to use is the All Nighter Urban Decay and it's in the shade 2.5. I also like to wet my beauty blender before I put any foundation on my face. I don't like to use that much. I use maybe like a blob, about that big. And then yeah, I just sort of dot it all over my face, so. Other fascinating things that have been going on in my life since lockdown is um, I'm moving. My um, fiance and I have found a property which we can finally own because we have been renting up till now. So the fact that we've actually found some place within our budget, um, it's amazing. You know, we get to have our own mortgage and we get to feel a bit more independent. We get to change things around the house if we feel like it. You know, we don't have to constantly ask permission for things. And it's just really nice to have that that bit of independence. It was not easy, let me tell you. Saving up for it was a nightmare. I'm currently on furlough, my partner is not. He is working, still full time, he's working from home. I think he's more than happy to work from home if I'm honest with you. I also like to um, blend my ears um, so it doesn't look like two complete different colours. We're moving at the end of the month, which I'm super excited about, and we still haven't sorted out a lot of things. We haven't hired the van, moving van, or anything like that yet. Um, we're packing and we're having people who are viewing our property at the moment see if they want to rent here. Um, so that's fun, I suppose. I also like to blend it down to the decollage area. Um, so if I'm wearing a low cut top, it all blends in. And I like to grab a little brush and then just go over what I've blended just to make sure I've 100% blended everything. And I hold my hair back so I don't get any foundation in my hair. Once I've blended out my foundation, I will then grab my concealer. This is the Jeffree Star Concealer in the shade C8. I used to really like Jeffree Star. You know, he was one of my favorite makeup gurus, I could say. 
I really liked his makeup. I thought it was really good quality and it still is really good quality but unfortunately I do not support him anymore therefore I cannot buy his makeup anymore so if you're wondering why I'm using it I'm using it up because I've got a lot of Jeffree Star makeup that I need to go through I have to find someone else that does just as good quality maybe a bit cheaper if possible vegan and cruelty free so if you guys know any brand that is vegan cruelty free and is really good quality leave it in the comments below so once the foundation and the concealer have been put on, I then like to go in with my contour. The contour kits that I like to use are from Barry M and it is the Cheeks Chisel Contour Cream and Chisel Cheeks Contour Cream. So it's a duo like this. Cheeks and then I like to draw down the nose to attempt to make my nose look straight my nose has always been crooked i like to attempt oh um i use this contour brush thing and then just do the other side and then again i like to go over with the uh, same brush that i used before and i just go over it like that like so i like to make sure my contour is straight on my nose and then i blend it in with my beauty blender so that the lines aren't too harsh on my nose. And then I grab the highlighter and I put it down my nose. But then I like to bake. Again, I use the Jeffree Star Loose Powder in Fair. And it smells like cotton candy. Just uh, grab a bit like that on my sponge. And then I go under the eye again well <laughs> it looks like I've just uh, grabbed some talcum powder and stuck it all over my face but you do look like a crazy person when you're mid makeup when I bake I also like to put it down the line of where I've done my contour so I make sure that the contour lasts it's completely normal if you end up um, with baking powder all over you which is why usually when I do my makeup I tend to put a towel down on my lap or I get changed after I've done my makeup so if something does spill and usually I am 99.9% .9 in black um, having fair baking powder on your jeans or your dress or your skirt isn't that easy to get out straight away so while that is baking I go on to my eyebrows. Now, sometimes I like to use a brow pomade and I use the Urban Decay one. And then sometimes I like to use eyeshadow to put on my eyebrows. As I've run out of brow pomade, I'm probably going to stick to eyeshadow. I like to use a little slanted brush like this. Or a crooked brush like this. So it depends on what kind of eyebrow I'm looking for. So I'm probably going to do quite a natural-esque, no makeup makeup look since I'm just not really going anywhere. So I'm just going to dive into the black eyeshadow on my Urban Decay Naked palette. I know it's in disgusting condition, I'm so sorry. And then I just sort of draw them in. Now, the reason why I like to shave off my eyebrows is because I can place them wherever I want on my face. I can do whatever kind of arch I want, whatever colour, whatever thickness, and it just works. So it looks like I'm going for very thin eyebrows today. They're kind of giving me, um, I don't know, 40s vibes. <laughs> 1940s eyebrows. The fun part is trying to match this eyebrow to look like this eyebrow. And if it doesn't, it's not the end of the world. As they say, sisters, not twins. Once I have my eyebrows on, that's usually when I wipe off my big. I like to use my little mini bullet lipsticks from Kat Von D. This is in the shade Sanctuary. I do like to overline my lips because my lips are really thin naturally, so I like to make sure I give them a bit of a, a, bit of a pout. I like to then go to my bronzer. This is from 
Revolution, Bronzer Reload Holiday Romance, and I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. That's what it looks like. It's this really pretty kind of shimmery colour. I don't like my bronzer too heavy um, or dark. You know, I kind of want to make it look semi-natural. When I want to go for the really dramatic look, then I'll get a really crazy highlighter. But on bronzer, I like to keep it fairly light. Then I also like to go on the jawline area to attempt to make it look a bit more sharp. And then on the other side. Then I go over with the Barry M highlighter, just a little bit on the cheeks. Just ever so slightly, not too much. And I kind of do like a sort of um, C shape to make sure that it hits all the right places. And then you can put on as much or as little as you want with this one. It's a buildable one, which is great. Then, because my eyebrows aren't looking too sharp, what I then do to what I call save them is grab a little slanted brush like this. And then what I do is I grab a little bit of concealer, just a little bit. And I just brush the tip like that. So it's a little bit coated. And then I basically just draw back here and here to make sure that the arch looks nice and defined. And it not only helps make your eyebrows look more defined, it also helps make your makeup look nice and neat. And then, see I look a bit more presentable now. I don't look as scary. And then we're gonna add a little eyeshadow brush, which looks like this. I've had this for years. I don't know where it's from, I'm sorry. And then I'm going to dip into the shade Virgin from the Naked palette. And I'm just gonna use it as a base. I've hardly got any left. You can see how much I've used Virgin. Oh gosh, this palette is really disgusting. But do you know what makes me so sad? The fact that Urban Decay have discontinued this palette. And then Naked 2 is okay, but it hasn't got the same wow factor as the original Naked palette. So yeah, just keep using these beautiful colors until they run out and then I'll have to figure out what will be my next everyday makeup palette so that's the base and then i like to go in with the shade don't even know what it's called anymore wow this is how old this is i use things like this with a little edge on them to give myself that gorgeous smoky eye that i like and i just i guess draw on or blend on i don't really know what the right terminology is but it creates that nice sharp eyeshadow thing. I can't do it without, I've tried. You can do it with sellotape as well, but I find sellotape mainly just rips off the rest of the hard work you've already done. Thought I was going for a natural look. Oh well, I do that. I say I want to do one thing and then I get a bit carried away and then before you know it, it ends up being a full kind of glam look. And then if you make a mistake with the eyeshadow, just get a bunch of black and blend on top and it looks amazing. Oh, I went into um, the shade Hustle, which is next to Creep Hustle. And then I go into Creep, which is also the same shade I used on my eyebrows. And then what I do is I just go over that with Creep, make it as dark as possible. That's when I grab my NYX Professional Eye Pencil and I like to go into the uh, water lines um, on the top and the bottom. So once that's done, I've got my NYX Professional Epic Ink Liner. If I mess up on the eyeliner, I just go over with black eyeshadow again and it covers it. It looks like I'm going for the full heavy look, huh? Oh well. And then, last but not least, I use my mascara. Then I'm just going to grab my brush again and I'm just going to make sure that I'm 100% blended everywhere. And then, last but not least, I get my Urban Decay All Nighter, which is covered in foundation and everything else, which is why it's so cloudy. And then I just sort of do this and then spray. And then I fan it out really fast with my hands. 
So that comes to the conclusion of my get ready with me slash makeup tutorial slash catch up video. If you enjoyed it, please do make sure you give it a little thumbs up and subscribe. That would really help. Stay safe and I will see you next time. Bye.